sorry, I mean, <laughs> oh, they chase them up into the mountains. Uh, only in the afternoon now and then they can look for for, uh, for food. Now, see that on your right, see that uh, maple tree? There's another tree that has no leaves. That's a K-pop tree. You know K-pop? It's cotton inside. It's like a bar, uh, a pot, and when you open, it's all cotton inside. Uh, K-pop, they call it the K-pop tree. Yeah, K-pop. Uh -oh. Let's go away. I'm the favourite too. Yeah, the Won't admit it, but yeah. <laughs> I'm the middle child too. That's that's the entrance on your right to the garden of the sleeping giant. Oh, okay. You know, ladies and gentlemen, there's some beautiful orchids in there, and also some plants. Beautiful. Uh, there, are, from your cruise ship, there are also two other boats there. Now, when they say we've been to the sleeping giant, you will exactly know the location of it. Now, this, uh, just to, uh, we talk about the, the families in Fiji. I know you're interested in the families. Now, uh, you see those uh, people back at the, at the mud pool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they, they, they come from a village. They come from two villages. And they work for that lady, you know the one that had a fair skin? Yeah. Susan. Yes. She's another fruit salad like me. Yeah. Okay, a bit of this and a bit of that. Anyway, that's the husband with the beard sitting yeah. down. Yeah. Now, they're running the business for them. Yeah. Okay, but the husband is, uh, is from a Polynesian island, but it comes under Fiji. So it's called Rotuma Island. So that's why you have that fair skin he has. Because Polynesian have straight hair and fair skin. Now Micronesian have straight hair but dark skin. Uh, Melanesian have fuzzy hair, also dark skin. But Fijians are not. Fijians are, are, are all the Fijian people. They are between Polynesian and the Melanesian. So they simply call, uh, they are not called the Kemet, they are only called Fijians. Okay? Because of the, the structure, face structure is very different from other. They are very handsome out there. Huh? Except, except George. <laughs> Cemetery is decorated. A newly uh, cemetery, uh, a newly uh, well, uh, this is who just new, just died recently. Now, if my wife die, uh, sorry, if I die, yeah, when I die, not now. So my my wife will won't comb my hair for a hundred nights. 
she will wear black dress and and for 100 night she'll have a wash but not bath you know important part of the body she wash but not bath and she will not eat the food that I last ate before I died she will mourn after 100 night the ladies from the village will take her to the seaside and wash away my memories I want to her no no George come in new George <laughs> but I told I'll haunt you all your life if a new George come <laughs> but that's the way it is eh? for the men it's the same thing they wear beard with a black ribbon they will do the same thing but it's up to them if they want to marry uh, a, a lot marry a few no they, because the kids are big they have children so they don't marry yeah Ah, uh, all right. You know, shall I tell them about that joke? Okay, I, I told the Australian this yeah. year. You know, I, I've never been, in 1988, my first visit to any country was Australia. You have a beautiful, beautiful country, ladies and gentlemen. You don't see it, I see it. You have to. Brisbane. Benio. Ah, Manio. Benio. You know, Kabutsu train, you go past Benio. In 1988, you know, you know, in 1988, we didn't have a microwave in feet when I went. Uh, we didn't, we, we had a kerosene stove, but not a gas stove but all comes well now. My brother had a microwave in the kitchen and when I woke up next morning, they had all gone to work and he said to me, George, your breakfast is in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> so I looked all over the kitchen, I couldn't find any microwave. So he had his number, he used to work, he, well, he passed away, my brother, just three years ago. Uh, but his children and the wife is there now. They were all Australian, they were born in Australia. And and I called him, he had a telephone number, and I said, oh, somebody answered, uh, I said, now, can I speak to Joe's Joseph Hicks? So they call him, hey, Fijian, Fijian. Oh. They named him Fijian there. So he came and said, I said, bro, where's my breakfast? It's in the microwave. <laughs> There's no microwave here. He knew. Fiji, huh? Never seen a microwave in his life. <laughs> so he said, go to the kitchen. And see what and tell me what you can see. I said I can see the stove, I can see the sink, I can see the carpet, I can see the fridge, and uh, what else? Oh, I can see one TV on. <laughs> he said, go to that TV. There's a button there. Press the button. When I press the button, boom, they came out. My breakfast was. He said, oh, even the TV do the cooking too. <laughs> you know, I met I made friends in a in a in a nightclub near near uh, the, in the city, and the barman was. Because I talk too much, huh? They like me. So I was very friendly with them. And they said, George, would you like to come to our home party? I said, sure, I'd love to come. Okay, bring a plate. You <laughs> <laughs> brought an empty plate, didn't you? I said, well, that's good, bring a plate, no worries. So I was getting dressed, and my brother looking at me, I said, Bro, where are you going? I said, well, I've been invited to a party, home party. Okay, so what are you going to take? Oh, sorry, you got a plate I need to take. And I said, oh, they'll throw that plate on you. <laughs> <laughs> it means to bring something with it. Now I know, okay? Before I bring a plate, I take an empty plate. <laughs> they only get one, one hell of a shock they see you with an empty plate. <laughs> and, and, that, and that's another thing too. Uh, just the last experience I had. I, I, Brisbane, Milton, who's, who's Ipswich, huh? Yeah. So to cut the story short, I, I looked for this, you know, train. When I went to Brisbane uh, city, I was looking for this, uh, this train that goes to Ipswich. And I'm marching everybody, and, and everybody, and they, they thought I well, came back from a mental hospital or something. <laughs> and, but well, there was a kind of gentleman who said, where are you going to? I said, I, I want to go to Milton. Okay, you stand there. You catch the Ipswich train, and when they come to Milton, they will call it out. Milton, you get off. Okay. And I told my friend, 
who, who my friend who worked with my brother wanted me to stay with their family and he called me and said George I will pick you up no 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 just tell me the place and I'll find you <laughs> thinking it was something like Nandi small place <laughs> big mistake so when I got up my mother you know the forest here yeah, then, then I start walking towards the left I end up in another suburb I, 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 the name, I don't remember the name but for three and a half, three hours and 45 minutes I think I walked when I came back near a school a marriage school I remember it was a marriage boy school there was a post and I was reading very tight you know I'm panicking now I know I don't have any money I don't know anybody here it's getting dark and if I don't find this place quickly I will sleep on the street and I probably end up in, in prison <laughs> and then all of a sudden I, I said maybe I'll look at this sign and maybe it'll tell me where it's going when I look up, clearly written on their signboard, no standing, I sat down. <laughs> <laughs> For one hour, 45 minutes, I was sitting down. And then next, on the opposite side, there was an army officer who, saw, who, who was watching me 45 minutes. And I said, well, this guy is really mentally, I think something wrong with him. So he calls the cops. And I'm thinking now, if I'm going to stand up, a cop should be here. And sure enough, wheel, 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 wheel. I said, George, you got now, bye bye, Fiji. <laughs> you know, there was a sergeant, this huge guy. He was on the passenger side. He's a, he's a, a private, what you call, constable, was driving. When he came close to me, he said, Good eye, mind. I said, Oh, oh hello. <laughs> I said, He asked me where I was from. I told him, He said, Legal or illegal? I said, Legal. And he said, Where are you stay in Australia? I said, In Benio. And he said, What are you bloody doing here? I said, I'm looking for uh, for my friend who lived in the street here. And what are you doing sitting down for one hour, 45 minutes? I pointed up to the side. <laughs> you look at the side, you look at me, and he hit me. Oh, 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 oh. Excuse me, sir, what you laughing at? Stand up, you idiot. It's for cars, not for you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's a, it, was a, it was a good experience. I went to Sydney. I went up uh, North Queensland to Washington. It was lovely. Marvelous holiday. Out in Melbourne, I didn't go. So, but they're all the same, huh? And you have a very beautiful country. And, 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 yeah, and good people. Thank you. Maka. So, here we are. This, see the road here? This is my bus. I catch the bus to go home. See the Fiji air condition bus? Yeah. See, it breaks down, breaks down. There, yeah, see? There. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait, miss work, miss work, my boss get cut his way, cut his way. <laughs> so, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, there you are, on the right hand side. Come on. on the right hand side we have the, see your Australian Virgin Airline, and, and Air Fiji there. Now that's our international airport, it's quite a large airport. Uh, and, uh, and that's where, uh, for 55 years, uh, sorry, not for 55 years, for 27 years I worked until I retired in 55. Uh, 55, ladies and gentlemen, it's not because you're old. You're never old. You're only old when you're six feet under. You grow wiser or more mature. But I can tell you this, the reason why they retire at 55 is to give chance to those who don't have a job. So for me, I have a talent in talking to people. Uh, well, you'll be talent. This is my first, uh, my first, uh, a tour with you guys, so I'm a bit shy. So, but, but, but companies, hey George, come here, uh, we need your expertise in, because, so I, 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 I look after people, and, and, and I hope that I do a good job, but that's your cushion, there, it's going, it's going, bye bye. <laughs> uh, okay, so family in Fiji, uh, in a family, uh, especially the people in the village, there's uh, five in a family, including the mom and the dad. Oh, before I forget, can we put our heads together for Chief Ian? Put your heads together. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Chief. Well done. Well done. And, and, and what do we eat? And people ask me, what is your traditional dish? Uh, uh, raw fish marinated with, uh, with coconut milk, and a lemon and a bit of chili with tapioca. Um, 
uh, fish cooked in coconut milk. Fry the fish, 